a newer home with newer construction going around versus an older home, perhaps? Um, <clears throat> buying a new home versus an older home. Um, a great question. I think that buying a, I think buying a new home has its advantages. Um, if you buy a new home, typically they give you a year warranty where after you buy the home, they would come in after a year and make any touch-ups or do anything to the house in order to get it back up to par. So for example, you'll find wall cracks, you'll find nail pops in there, you'll find, um, it could be a leak. Whatever the issues are, you have a home warranty that's gonna come back in there. Um, a new home is, is ideal a lot of times for people because it's, it's new. They're the first ones that have it. You can do what you want with it. It's your home in the sense that nobody else has lived there before. Um, so there are advantages to that. But the older home, a lot of people, what they're doing with these older homes, they are renovating them so that they look better, right? So you get these older homes, I call them older homes, but these new fields. They go in here, they take these older homes, they gut them out, they fix them up, make them look newer. So you could actually get a newer looking home, but it's older and it's less price. Usually your newer homes are gonna be higher in price. Things to look out for when you're buying new construction or things to consider. One, if you buy new construction and you're buying in a community that's really large, if your house goes up for sale later on, if you're trying to sell your house later on, know that you'll be in competition with a lot of those other new constructions. Um, so I'm always thinking about when you're buying a home, because we're in a very transient environment, people are buying home now and the average lifespan of people living in a home is five years. So I'm always thinking, if you're buying a home, are you considering the location? And if you go to resell that or rent it out later on, then how's the environment looking? Are you gonna be able to do that? If you buy new construction and they tell you that they're, they're building 700 units on that new construction and they are only built 200 so far, that means they're probably gonna be there for another seven or eight years building. If you buy that home at year two and you're gonna go sell it at year five, that means that when you go trying to sell your house, you're gonna be in direct competition with other new builds. So other people are gonna be trying to buy, come in and buy a home and they're, you know, you're gonna be able to sell your house for max dollar. When the person can say, I can go buy this house or I can go to the new construction site and buy a newer one and get closing cost assistance and down payment, all that stuff, right? So therefore, I think you should really consider those factors.